After two back-to-back -back years of serious wildfires, California hoped it would get a respite in 2014. Instead, the firefighting season has come early, becoming a year-round operation with close to 900 blazes logged since January, a rate more than three times the historical average. We have not seen these numbers, though, since the 70s, uh, which causes us uh, to, to really gear up not knowing what Mother Nature's going to throw at us this year. Additional seasonal firefighters have been hired early, and the state's aerial firefighting fleet, the world's largest, has had to adjust its maintenance routine to keep more planes and helicopters on regular standby. Not only is rain still scarce, the snow melt that should be filling the state's rivers and reservoirs this spring is only one-third the typical flow. So a state directive to cut water use by 20% applies to the firefighters too. The tinder for these blazes, the dry brush that grows close to vulnerable communities. Having litter on the ground, such as that you see here, will uh, actually help the fire carry right through homes. For several years now, fire officials have been warning Californians to keep volatile underbrush at least 10 meters clear of their properties. But that isn't much of a margin for safety in times like these. This is an invasive species called Scotch broom, notoriously flammable once it dries up. Across the state, local volunteers set out each weekend to uproot the plants wherever they pose a threat. More controversial is a proposal to eradicate the non-native eucalyptus trees in the hills east of San Francisco. In 1991, the oil-rich leaves of the eucalyptus were blamed for compounding the damage in one of the state's most destructive urban fires. Since the 90s, the yearly bill for fighting wildfire in the U.S. has grown by six times. It's now more than two and a half billion dollars. Some experts want to fight the fire with more fire by stepping up controlled burns that reduce the buildup of fuel loads in the forests. One way you can actually deal with that is try to use prescribed burning, mechanical treatments, get fire back into ecosystems, try to manage those systems appropriately, and that should reduce costs of suppression, also reduce losses of life. In the short term, California's best hope this year is an El Nino weather event to break the drought, but climatologists put the odds of that at no better than 50%. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera in Northern California.